All right, back again with another one here. So here's the deal. Uh, stick with me here. It's going to be a slight bit of a rant, but I'm going to try and wrap it up as quickly as possible because I don't nobody wants to be seeing this face for very long. But unfortunately, you're going to have to moving forward, and let me explain why. Uh, first things first, Twitter. I have been banned from, from, for life from Twitter <laughs> because I called Laura Ingram a hag, and that's cyberbullying. So I had an account on Twitter called Tom Powell Jr. It was nothing to write home about. It was about 1,200 followers. And I primarily used that account to interact with other like-minded liberals, uh, other people who partook in the devil's lettuce. And uh, my primary function with that account was to explain to the President of the United States, and I use that term loosely, uh, to explain to Donnie why he was wrong. It was basically a troll account for Donald Trump. I did, however, occasionally reply to uh, right-wing conservative talk show hosts and podcast hosts and other Republican elected officials on a wide range of issues. And one time I replied to Laura Ingram. She had posted some insane Nazi bullshit. And I said, uh, literally, why don't you just shut the fuck up, you hag? Banned for life. Well, when I got banned, I started the second Twitter account called Old Hippie Media. And I was... Using that account without any issues, I only had a couple dozen followers. Nothing, nothing major. It wasn't not a very big footprint on, on Twitter. Um, and then this video from TikTok of mine got shared by Rex Chapman on Twitter. And from Rex Chapman's account, it got shared by people like Pat Oswald, Martina Navratilova, and uh, Peter Frampton. The music, huge in this house. Peter Frampton, fucking tweeting my video. Blown away. Anywho, uh, I guess the algorithms caught up and Twitter realized that it was my account and they shut that shit down and told me that I was trying to circumvent a lifetime ban by starting another account. So, I've got an appeal in, but I'm not holding my breath. My guess is, is that I'm not going to be allowed back on Twitter anytime soon. Now, I am on Facebook and I have a few thousand followers on Facebook. I have a page called Old Hippie Media on Facebook. And it's really just a primarily a page for me to post stupid memes and tell you about the books that I've written and the podcast that I host, which I'll discuss in just a second. But I'm in a 30-day Facebook jail because I don't play well with others apparently on Facebook either uh, because somebody on one of the Star Wars fan pages I follow is just insane posted an article about how there's a new animated Star Wars series that'll be coming soon, and the director or executive producer is a lesbian woman, and they said, you know, almost something along the lines of, finally some representation, and I agree, and I like the post, and then I started reading the comments, and one person commented uh, something along the lines of the effect of, um, it's just going to be a bunch of fags making out and have nothing to do with Star Wars. So I replied to that, that comment, cry harder for us and 30 day ban for cyberbullying 30 day ban for cyberbullying so right off the bat the, the one thing i want to say is um i don't want to hear shit about fuck when it comes to conservatives being silenced on facebook and twitter because i am the furthest thing from a conservative and i have been in jail and, tw and facebook more times than i care to count and i now am banned for life on twitter so the president of the united states can lie about death tolls, election results, major businesses within the United States. He can cancel culture, Harley Davidson and Nordstrom and the NFL, and he gets little tags on his tweets. But I guess if you're a self-published self author uh, who's a retired landscaper from the southwest suburbs of Chicago and you call one person a hag, lifetime ban from Twitter. So... Uh, while I would like to be back on the platform, if that's really what Twitter thinks is deserving of a lifetime ban, then I don't really want to be on the fucking platform anyway. And since I'm about a heartbeat away from being kicked off of Facebook on a permanent basis, um, if you want to hear my opinions and see my content, you're, it's going it's to be coming to you in digital format from now on in the forms of videos on YouTube, TikTok. I'll share them to Instagram until Instagram kicks me off of their platform. 
and in the form of my podcast. Now, if you want to see videos on YouTube, obviously subscribe to this channel. Hit the little reminder bell so that you know when I post new videos and I'll be increasing the amount of rant videos I post on here. I will continue to do rant videos on TikTok. Um, and I'll post some of these rant videos to Instagram, as I said, until they kick me off. Uh, and the podcast, which you'll find at my website, oldhippymedia.com, there's a podcast page where you can link to it. I have not done an episode since March of 2020. During the entire quarantine bullshit, I kind of let it sit there. And uh, in December, the beginning of December this year, I, I decided I'm going to bring it back in early 2021. Um, and I'm hoping by the end of January, maybe early February, but I don't know. So, uh, I'm already at almost six minutes on this video and I don't want to waste too much of your time, but basically the point of this entire video is if you want to continue to hear my opinion on things, you gotta, you gotta follow me on TikTok. I know people say, I don't have a TikTok account. Start one. It's free. It's just like Facebook and just follow me on TikTok, Tom Powell Jr., uh, subscribe to YouTube. You're not going to see everything on YouTube. You're going to, there's going to be a lot of things on TikTok that are not going to be on YouTube. So just letting you know, uh, and follow me on Instagram, Tom Powell Jr. And, uh, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be digital format in the form of video content and audio content in my podcast. Having said all of that, I appreciate all of the shares of the video. I appreciate Pat Oswald and and Rex Chapman and Martina Navratilova and, and Peter Frampton and everybody else who shared it on Twitter. Um, I still stand by the sentiment of all my videos and I'll still continue to make them. I just got to switch platforms. Sorry. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.